So we settle down as we await for uh, our next speaker, Reverend Father Prospero Villacorte Tenorio. He is the parish priest and shrine rector of the National Shrine of the Divine Mercy in Marilao, Bulacan. He is also the national coordinator of Divine Mercy Philippines. He is the Secretary General for Asia of the World Apostolic Congress on Mercy or WACOM. Reverend Father Pros Tenorio has been appointed by our Holy Father as a missionary of mercy in 2019, but effective March 10, 2020, up to the present. Father Prost Tenorio is presently the parish priest of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary Parish in My Son, Valenzuela City, in Bulacan. And he is in the Commission on Pastoral Care of Priests, CPCP, Diocesan Level. Napaka-aktibo po ng susunod natin na speaker who will talk on the very same topic na iniyakan po ni Julian Reconalia. Divine mercy, repose of hearts, peace amidst fear with Reverend Father Prospero Tenorio. What waton sa nato kadiyot ha kay nagpadong na si Father, no? Okay, so divine mercy amid fear, peace amid fear, no? Ang kin repose of hearts, peace amid fear. Sa ato pa repose of hearts, murag pahulayan sa ato ang kasing kasing. Nagmagulanon ng kasing kasing. And peace, makakita tagkalinaw diha sa kahadlok. No? Mauda ay siguro nga, ni survive ta sa pandemic. Ni survive ta sa mga bagyo sa atong kinabuhi. O ni survive ta sa tanan. Because we have that divine mercy. Which is the repose of our hearts. And the give peace of our hearts. No? So, Murag nindot sa bagyo ni nga topic. Nindot yun. kaayo, no? Nga na... Humanhuma na, hopefully, ang kinini ang atong pandemic, na libkas na ang mga restrictions sa mga health protocols, o niya murag libre na mga ganit, makabiyahe sa gawas, Maugyod. tungod aning mga makita karo na ito, nga, wala na no? murag laktod, murag free open na giyod ta. Open na giyod ta. ta. Wala so, na yung kahadlok. Kinsa pa yung nahadlok nga ha? Taas sa kamot. <laughs> Mga bakunado, magkaamo. <laughs> bakunado, o di bakunado. Why kahadlok? Because we have that divine mercy. Amen. Who gives peace in our hearts. No? Amid fear. Diyan sa atong kahadlok na atay dalang panan. Ang divine mercy. And, gawa sa kining ato mga kabalaka kaniad to, sa March 2020, no? nagsugod actually in December of 2019, unya ni sud na gyud ang lockdown sa March 2020. Mao na siya ang atong mga kahadlok, mga kahingawa atong panahuna. Unya gisundan pa gyud sa udet o sa unsa pa na diha ka mga problema na to. But here we are smiling, no? Tungod ani, nalipay pud ta. Nga nagkauban na pud ta, no? Og naatay mga mensahe nga Ang kinahanglan yun na ito nga hinuktukan uban sa talk ni Father Prospero Pros Tenorio. Shall we give him a big, big round, round of, of applause? applause. Father Prospero, Prospero Tenorio. Pres, Pros Tenorio.
Sorry, Father. Hello, good afternoon. God is good all the time. Let us thank the Lord. Palapakan natin ang Panginoon. I would like to invite you to pause for a while and let us listen to a beautiful song by a beautiful young girl, Makena Hickson together with her father and the title of the song is there is peace in christ when there is no peace on earth there is peace in christ amen Let us also feel the presence of God, Emmanuel, God is with there us. There is peace in Christ when we learn of Him, to the love He felt for us. When He bore our sins, listen to His words, let them come alive. If we know Him as He is, there is peace in Christ. He gives as hope when hope is gone. He gives us strength when we can't go on. He gives us shelter in the storms of life. When there's no peace on earth, there is peace in peace in Christ when we walk with him through the streets of Galilee to Jerusalem mend the broken hearts dry the tear filled eyes when we live the way he lived there is peace in Christ he gives us hope A shelter in the storms of life when there's no peace on earth there is peace in Christ There's no peace on earth, there is peace in Christ.
He gives us hope when hope is gone. He gives us strength when we can't go on. He gives us shelter in the storms of life. When there is no peace on earth, there is peace in Christ. There is peace in Christ. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. God is good all the time. God is with us, Emmanuel. Palapan natin ang Panginoon. Divine mercy, repose of hearts, peace amidst fear, I trust in you. Jesus said to Saint Faustina, mankind will not have peace until it turns with trust to my mercy. Diary 300. When we trust in the Lord, he gives our hearts repose and calms our heart amidst fear. He promised to Saint Faustina, you will not be alone because I am with you always and everywhere. Near to my heart, fear nothing. Turn with trust to his merciful heart and encourage others to do so. Only then will, will we have peace and repose. I would like to focus my sharing for this afternoon on these two very important points, peace and repose. Part one on peace. Tell aching mankind to snuggle close to my merciful heart, and I will fill it with peace. Diary 1074. I believe that is one of the most comforting messages from Jesus recorded by Saint Faustina in her diary. Mayroong ilang mga halagang elemento para makamit natin ang kapayapaan. Dapat naroon yung tinatawag na humility, honesty, holiness of life, hard work, and that sense of humor. Kapag naroon ang limang mahalagang katangian na ito, mapapanatili natin ang nasabing kapayapaan. Okay, ulitin natin ang limang dapat na matagpuan sa atin. Dapat ay naroon yung honesty, humility, holiness of life, hard work, and that sense of humor. Peace is not something, is this not something that everyone wants? Gusto natin na makamit ang nasabing kapayapaan. Kaya sabihin natin sa ating mahatabi, peace be with you. Okay, sana'y tunay natin maihatid sa mundo ating ginagalawan ang nasabing kapayapaan. Of course, peace of heart, peace of mind, peace in the family, peace in the world. Mahalaga na meron tayong maisishare para makamit ang nasabing kapayapaan. Kung ang bawat isa sa atin ay magsisikap na ito'y may katuparan, remember St. Francis of Assisi with his prayer, Make me an instrument of your peace. In the life of St. Teresa of Calcutta, kanyang pinakita ito sa ibang paraan. A little book written about her life entitled Mother Teresa, A Simple Path, Kanyang pinakita ang kapayapaan ay makamit natin sa pamagitan ng mahalagang hakbang na ito. The fruit of silence is prayer. The fruit of prayer is faith. The fruit of faith is love. The fruit of love is service. The fruit of service 
is peace. Mahagamit natin ang nasabing kapayapan kapag sanay tayong tumahimik, sanay tayong manalangin, lumago sa panampalataya, maging mahusay sa pagsasali ng pagmahal, at maging handang maglingkod sa ating kapwa. As Catholics and as Christians, we know and believe that humankind will not have peace without God. And as devotees of divine mercy, we know and believe that it goes even further. Mankind will not have peace until it turns with trust to my mercy, Diary 300. So how do we now turn with trust to His mercy? I would suggest we begin with a type of psychological therapy popular today that has deep Christian roots. And they call this mindfulness. Basically, Catholic mindfulness therapy takes life at a slower pace interiorly. Slowly, but surely. We become more aware, we become cognizant of what the movements of our hearts are throughout the day. Okay, sabi nga, dapat ang ating puso matanggal doon ang mga pabigat. Ano yung mga pabigat sa ating puso? Using the acronym HEART, dapat tanggalin daw natin doon yung hatred, pagkamuhi. From the heart, we need to remove envy, pagkaingit. From the heart, we need to remove letter A, anger, pagkagalit. From the heart, we need to remove letter R, resentment, pagtatanim ng sama ng loob. Also, from the heart, we need to remove letter T, timidity or tepidity, katamaran, lalo na sa mga gawaing pang spiritual. Kaya kailangan palang matanggal ang mga pabigat na ito. Kaya, kaya nga, let us remind ourselves and our friends, una, tanggalin natin ang pagkamuhi. Okay, sabihin sa kanan, huwag kang mamuhi sa iyong kapwa. Sa kaliwa, sabihin, huwag kang maingitin. Sa harapan mo, sabihin, huwag kang magagalitin. Sa iyong likuran, sabihin, huwag nagtatanim ng sama ng loom. At sa lahat ng katabi, sabihin, huwag kang taman, magsimba. Okay, tinamaan po ba tayo doon sa mga dapat tanggalin from the heart? We need to remove hatred, envy, anger, resentment, and tepidity or timidity. We embrace our emotions, whatever they may be, instead of trying to distract ourselves, we fill our lives with what will ultimately satisfy us, namely God. This is the experience of St. Paul, St. Augustine, Thou hast made us for Thyself, O Lord, our heart is restless until it finds its rest in Thee. Sa pamagitan ng nasabing kanasan, may ugnayin natin ang ating sarili at ang buhay natin. Both secular and religious psychologists alike report success. Mindfulness has helped lessen anxiety and stress in people's lives. And as Catholics, we can take it one step further. When we are mindful of our hearts, we can bring it to Jesus and His mercy. We can entrust our hearts, our lives, our loved ones, our concerns to Jesus and His mercy. We can snuggle close. We can come closer to His heart and truly find peace. St. Francis de Sales reportedly said, Never be in a hurry. Do everything quietly in a calm spirit. Do not lose your inner peace for anything whatsoever, even if your whole world seems upset. This is 
basically mindfulness therapy. I can admit, however, that becoming more mindful throughout the day, attentive to the movements of your heart, and aware of God's presence can be sometimes difficult. So let's turn to Jesus and Saint Faustina for advice on how to quiet our minds and hearts and so find peace in Jesus. Saint Faustina recorded Jesus' words in her diary. My daughter, Encourage souls to say the chaplet which I have given to you. It pleases me to grant everything they ask of me by saying the chaplet. When hardened sinners say it, I will fill their souls with peace, and the hour of their death will be a happy one. Like the rosary, the chaplet of divine mercy can be prayed as a quiet meditation on the passion, on the death and resurrection of Christ. And when we take time to quiet ourselves and focus our minds and hearts on Christ, He will fill our souls with peace. Hindi po ba napagandang kanasan na ating puso at isipan? ay tunay na nakatuon sa ating Painoon. Sabi nga ni St. John Damasin, Prayer is the lifting of the mind and the heart to God. As sabi naman ni St. Therese to the child Jesus, Prayer is an impulse of the heart. A simple glance towards heaven, a cry of recognition and love, whether in times or in times of trials or in joys. In short, nais niya may pakita that her life is a prayer. At dahil dito, naroon ang kapayapaan. If we have the opportunity, for example, to do so before the Blessed Sacrament in a chapel, sa ating pagdalaw doon, naroon ang panyaya for us to stop, to look, and to listen. If we cannot make it to a chapel, intentionally make ourselves aware of God's presence within you, wherever you are. San man tayo na roon, pwede tayong tumahimik. Pwede natin pakinggan ang tinig ng Diyos. In listening, it is not only through the ears, it is not only through the mind. We can listen sa paumagitan ng puso at ng kaluluwa. At dito ang halimbawa ng Mahalabiring Maria. Siya ay nakinig hindi lamang sa tainga at isip. Si Maria ay nakinig sa pamakita ng puso at kaluluwa. Sa Tagalog, kapag sinabing isa puso, it is to translate into life ang pagsasali na nito sa buhay. As Saint Faustina began to focus more on Christ, and who she was in him as his daughter, it brought her peace. She wrote, From the moment when you let me fix the eyes of my soul on you, O Jesus, I have been at peace and desired nothing else. I found my destiny at the moment when my soul lost itself in you. The only object of my love in comparison with you, everything is nothing. If we have doubts or fears that we cannot surrender, and we have difficulty trusting God, it's okay. Remember, God directs His mercy precisely to our misery and to our concerns. Jesus said to St. Faustina, be at peace, my daughter. It is precisely through such mystery that I want to show the power of my mercy. So what is God's message to us today? What is God's message to us in every day? Be at peace. And we can place our hearts, we can place our minds, we can place our concerns in His hands. 
snuggle close to his heart, breathing with love for God alone. Just as a child finds rest in her mother's arms, so too our souls must find must rest in Him. In Him, we will find our peace. Amen? Part 2 on Repose Saint Faustina was named by Saint John Paul II, the Apostle of the Divine Mercy, at her canonization in 2000. At and the Pope encouraged the faithful to read her diary and grow closer to Jesus. Here are ten quotes from her diary that can not only strengthen our faith, but inspire us to see the devotion to the heart of Jesus and the divine mercy are interwoven and a true blessing to all who practice them. The heart of Christ, His sacred heart, has given men everything, from the gift of redemption, from the gift of salvation, and from the gift of sanctification. Saint Faustina Kowalska, so coming from this heart, that was overflowing with generous love, two rays of light, which illuminated the world. St. John Paul II Homily on Divine Mercy Sunday, 2001. There are ten quotes from the diary of St. Faustina, focusing on the importance of the Sacred Heart as a place for her repose, rest, in our Lord Jesus, and Saint Faustina's heart is also the repose of our Lord, the Divine Mercy. First, during adoration, I heard a voice in my soul. This efforts of yours, my daughter, are pleasing to me. They are the delight of my heart. I see every moment of your heart with which you worship me. Dahil natanggal na ni Santa Faustina ang mapabigat from her heart, hatred, envy, anger, resentment, tepidity, or timidity, na ibalik niya doon sa kanyang puso ang love. And what are the elements of this love? Using the acronym love, Sa kanyang puso, sa puso ni Santa Faustina, ay naroon yung tiyatawag na loyalty. Her loyalty to God, her loyalty to the church, her loyalty to her vocation and mission in life. Sa kanyang pagmahal, naroon din yung obedience. Remember, the word obedience comes from the Latin word audire. And audire means to hear. We must be ready to hear in order for us to let go and to let God. Victory or V is veneration. Sa atin daw paglapis sa Diyos at sa paglapis sa kapwa, dapat ay naroon ang pagalang. Napakahalagang biyaya na dapat lumalago ang bawat isa sa atin. And of course, finally, the letter E, entails everlasting love. Remember, in the end, when death comes at ating buhay, we will be judged by God, not on how much we have done, but how much love we put in the doing. Iyon ang nailagay sa kanyang puso. Naroon yung loyalty, obedience, veneration, and everlasting love. Number two, even among the sisters, you will feel lonely. Know then that I want you to unite yourself more closely to me. I am concerned about every beat of your heart. Every stirring of your love is reflected in my heart. 
I thirst for your love. Diary 1542. Today the Lord said to me, My daughter, look into my merciful heart and reflect his compassion in your own heart and in your deeds, so that you who proclaim my mercy to the world may yourself be aflame with it. I want you to unite yourself more closely to me. There is a beautiful prayer, day by day, three things I pray. To see Christ more clearly, to love Christ more dearly, and to follow Christ more closely, day by day. Third, at that moment, Jesus suddenly stood before me, coming I know not from where, radiant with unbelievable beauty, clothed in a white garment with uplifted arms, and he spoke these words to me, My daughter, your heart is my repose. Your heart is my repose. It is my delight. I find in it everything that is refused me by so many souls. Kaya nga napakalaga for us to be able to prepare ourselves, maihanda ang ating puso para ito ay maging repose din na ating Panginoon. There are things we need to watch. And we ask ourselves, what to watch? Using the acronym WATS, ito po ang dapat nating bantayan every day sa ating buhay. Una, we need to watch the W. We need to watch our words, ang masay itang ginagamit natin. Taglay ba natin ang salita ng Panginoon, ang salita ng Diyos sa ating paro araw na buhay. Also, we need to watch our A, our actions. Remember, actions speak louder than words. Mahalaga ang ating mga pagkilos. Next is letter T. We need to watch our thoughts. If our thoughts are Christ-like, there is a possibility that our words will also be Christ-like. And if our thoughts and words are Christ-like, there is a possibility that our deeds will also be Christ-like. Amen? We need to watch our words, our actions, our thoughts, and let us see, we need to watch the character. Noon tayo ay binyagan, we share in the priestly, the prophetic, and the kingly functions of Christ. At noon tayo kumpilan, inaasahan na tayo kikilos, makikisa kay Kristo as a priest, a prophet, and a king. And of course, napakalaga, we need to watch the heart. Babantayan natin ang ating puso. Upang sa gayon, tunay nga, ito ay maging pahingahan ng ating Panginoon. Amen? Palagpakan natin ang bawat isa. Four. December 24, 1934, the Vigil of Christmas. During the morning mass, I felt the closeness of God. Though I was hardly aware of it, my spirit was drowned in God. Suddenly, I heard these words, You are my delightful dwelling place. My spirit rests in you. After these words, I felt the Lord looking into the depths of my heart and seeing my mystery. I humbled myself in spirit and admired the immense mercy of God that the Most High Lord would approach such misery. Kaya ito rin ang panawagan sa atin. Every day, naroon ng hamon to think always of mercy, to speak always of mercy, and always do acts of mercy. Hindi lamang tayo mag-isip, hindi lamang tayo mangusap, taglay ang awa ng Diyos. Sige sa lahat, Inaasahan na sa ating buhay, sa ating pagkilos, naroon ang awa ng Diyos. Amen? Number five. During Vespers, I heard these words, My daughter, 
I want to repose in your heart. I want to repose in your heart. Because many souls have thrown me out of their hearts today, I have experienced sorrow unto death. I tried to comfort the Lord by offering Him my love a thousand times over. I felt within my soul a great disgust for sin. Remember, mayroong kasabihan, we're not called to be successful in this life. We are called to be faithful. Sa mundong ating ginagalawan para tayo magtagumpay, a very important acronym to remember is the acronym WORLD. Para taglayin natin ang mga bagay-bagay na tutulong para tayo ay maging tapat. Using the acronym WORLD, dapat naroon yung W. Dapat naroon sa atin yung gift of wisdom. Naroon dapat sa atin yung obedience. Dapat ay naroon sa atin po yung reliance. Naroon sa atin yung love and diligence. These are the qualities sa mundong ating ginagalawan. Wisdom, obedience, reliance, love and diligence. Kapag ito'y ating taglay, truly, tayo magiging successful, will be faithful in this life. Six. During prayer, I heard these words, My daughter, let your heart be filled with joy. I, the Lord, am with you. Fear nothing. You are in my heart. At that moment, I knew the great majesty of God, and I understood that nothing could be compared with one single perception of God. Outward greatness dwindles like a speck of dust before one act of a deeper knowledge of God. Diary 11.33 I will tell you most when you converse with me in depths of your heart. Here, no one can disturb my actions. Here, I rest as in a garden and close. Mahalaga talaga ang panalangin. Mahala talaga ang pagtahimik. Upang doon, tunay natin mapakinggan ng Panginoon. Doon, ang Panginoon mananahan sa puso ng bawat nagmamahal. Seven, when you reflect upon what I tell you in the depths of your heart, you profit more than if you had read many books. Oh, if souls would only want to listen to my voice when I'm speaking in the depths of their hearts, they would reach the peak of holiness in a short time. Diary 584. Kaya nga, mahalaga, sa ating puso, tayo ay handang tumahimik para mapakinggan ang tinig ng Panginoon. The Lord is continuously passing by. Patuloy siyang nagdaraan sa buhay ng tao. What is essential is the invitation. Tuloy po kayo to Christ who stands and knocks at the door ng puso ng bawat isa sa atin. Buksan natin ang ating puso sa Panginoon upang siya na sinon ay tumuloy at manahan. 8. I heard a voice coming from the host. Here is my repose. During benediction, Jesus gave me to know that soon a solemn moment would take place on this very spot. I am pleased to rest in your heart and nothing will stop me from granting your graces. This greatness of God floods my soul, and I drown in Him. I lose myself in Him. I am melting away in Him. Remember, everything is grace. Ulitin nga po natin. Everything is grace. Second, God is present with His grace. Please repeat. Third, God is at work with His grace. Fourth, all these graces are truly descending from God. Amen po ba yun? Ang lahat ng bagay sa ating buhay ay biyaya. Naroon ang Diyos sa kanyang mga biyaya, 
kumikilos ang Diyos sa kanya mga biyaya. At ang lahat ng biyayang ito ay galing sa kanya. Kaya sa tabi, sa mga katabi, ikaw ay biyaya ng Diyos. Tayong lahat ay biyaya ng Diyos. Amen po ba yun? Palapan natin ang bawat isa. Number nine, June 1, 1937. Today, the Corpus Christi, the body of Christ, procession took place. At the first altar, a flame issued from the host and pierced my heart. And I heard a voice, Here is my resting place. Diary 1140. Isa sa mga magandang prayer ay tinatawag na altar prayer. Are you aware? Are you cognizant of this prayer? Using the acronym ALTAR, may kahulugan ito. Una, sa ating pagdarasal, A. Ask the Lord for anything. L. Listen to the Lord. T. Thank the Lord. Fourth, ask the Lord for anything. R. Rejoice in the Lord always. Ito po ang altar prayer na sa atin daw pagtanggap sa Panginoon sa Banala Komunyon. Gamitin natin ang una, adore the Lord, listen to the Lord, thank the Lord, ask the Lord for anything, and rejoice in the Lord always. To live a peaceful life, we must, okay, basahin natin, sabay-sabay tayo, let go of those who stress us. Amen po ba yun? Sabay-sabay, basahin natin, embrace those who bless you, bless us. Amen? Next, all together, cherish those who love us. Amen? Next, Be kind to those around us. Amen. Give to those who need us. Amen. Pray for those who hurt us. Amen. Mahirap yata, no? Pero kaya po natin to. And have faith. God walks with us. Kasama natin ang Diyos. Prayer to the heart of Jesus. All together, please. O Jesus, eternal truth, our life, O sweetheart of my Lord, full of pity and unfathomable mercy, I plead with you for poor sinners. O most sacred heart, fount of mercy, from which God's fourth race of and conceivable graces upon the entire human race, I beg of you, light for poor sinners. Amen. Divine mercy, repose of hearts, peace amidst fear, I trust in you. I would like now to invite you to listen, and if you know the song, join me in singing the song, Still. Take two.
Sama natin ang Panginoon, palapahan natin ang Panginoon. Okay, tapos na po yung aking talk. Meron, meron pa po akong five minutes from the original schedule. Supposed to be ay hanggang 4.15. Kaya, I still have five minutes. Pwede pa po ba ako? I ask the permission also of Tita Sister Ima. Para may pakita sa inyo ang ating mga preparations in the national level for this new evangelization program under the NEFDM, we are called now to become evangelizers. Hindi lang po tayo disciples, hindi lamang tayo mga alagad, tinawag to know, to love, and to serve the Lord, kundi tayo ay isusugo to become apostles. From the Greek word apostolos, a person being sent. Tayo ay sisugo. Tayo ay mga evangelizers. We have here naihanda ang, from the National Divine Mercy ang NEFDM booklet for new evangelizers. And what are the objectives of this booklet na dapat ay mayroon tayo para at least ay in the national level, tayo po ay magkakaisa. Tayo ay mayroong uniform sa ating mga pinapahayag tungkol sa awa ng Diyos. The first objective, to serve as stock outline for new evangelization for family devotion on mercy. Ito nga po yung N-E-F-B-M. New evangelization for family devotion on mercy. Objective number two. To familiarize new evangelizers of the Divine Mercy devotion with the basic aspects of the message of the Divine Mercy based on the diary of Saint Faustina. Third, to enhance the knowledge and confidence of devotees in promoting the Divine Mercy devotion based on the uniform content and scope. This is Yung unang aklat na mayroong two booklets, marapit na pumatapos yung second basito na ready for printing na rin. Objective number four, to act as prerequisite for further trainings and instructions on the Divine Mercy message and devotion which be, will be offered by the National Shrine and Paris of Divine Mercy. How to use the NEFDM booklet. It can be used for the individual prayers, family devotions, enthronement and entrustment of images. 
dahon tayong magagamit para sa pagpasyal natin sa mga tahanan ay meron tayong uniform na prayers na sama-sama nating gagampanan. Hindi ba napaganda kung Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao tayo po ay masama-sama at magkakaisa sa nasabing enthronement ng divine mercy sa mga tahanan. Enthronement and instrument and trustment guidelines. Divine Mercy Coordinator, for example, the new evangelizer, schedules date and time of the visit, family prepares an altar with clean mantle, flowers if available, candles, crucifix, images of the Blessed Virgin Mary, and of course, the Bible. There are two options. On the first day of visit, enthronement and trustment of Divine Mercy image to be done first before the start of the evangelization. The family will be instructed to do the novena, na nakapalag din po dito ang novena, and continue praying the Divine Mercy devotional prayers. Option number two. Up to the ninth day of novena, before the pilgrim image, we transfer to another house Enthronement and trustment of divine mercy image will be done. Sana po ay makaroon tayo ng kopya ito, mapag-aralan, at sama-sama nating maisabuhay ang diwa ng nasabing awa ng Diyos. Nung pagdalo po namin sa Bacolod, uh, sa kanilang ginanap na gathering doon ng divine mercy, devotees ay habang kami po ay naroon for ilang araw ni Father Nap, nagkaroon kami ng sharing at ito po ang nabuo namin. Isang aklat entitled, Jesus Speaks, Saint Faustina and Us Listen. Hindi lamang si Saint Faustina ang nakanig sa ating Panginoon, tayo po sama-samang makinig sa pamagitan ng aklat na ito, a collection, compilations, ng mga panalangin ni Santa Faustina at yung mga taong involved sa buhay ni Santa Faustina. Sana, supportan din natin na magkaroon kayo ng kopya at ito'y maging bahagi ng pang-araw-araw na debosyon at sa inyong buhay. Thank you very much and God bless us all. Thank you, Father Tenorio. And is